Hello and welcome to Rocket PC Gaming. My name is Rocket and today we are here to talk about basic aircraft design in Kerbal Space Program. So as you can see, I am in the space plane hangar here and I have rigged up a simple jet. So the biggest thing that I noticed that people have problems with with aircraft design is that their center of mass, center of lift, and center of thrust are not aligned correctly. So there, there are some handy dandy tools down here. Uh, center mass overlay, which is this yellow and black ball, so we're going to turn that on. Our center of thrust overlay, which is this uh, pink or purple and black ball. And then our center of lift, which is this uh, light blue and black ball. Okay, so the ideal layout is to have the center of mass as close to this middle structure of the aircraft as possible. Um, the closer it is to the center, the more stable the aircraft will be. Now, the center of lift, you want as close to the center of mass as you can get it without being in front of it. So ideally, the closest you would actually want this to be, and I'm just going to move this forward here to kind of demonstrate this. Is right about here. This would be actually be perfect center of lift, center of mass, right? Center mass is almost perfectly in the middle of the structure. The center of lift is right there. The aircraft would be extremely stable. But because of the configuration of the aircraft, uh, this would not be very good simply because of the fact that we're blocking the door. Kerbals can't get in or get out. It's fine if you're just going to leave them in there. They're never going to get out. This would work just fine. But with our aircraft here, we're a little bit further back. But that is still okay as the center of lift is still behind the center of mass. Now, the further away the center or the behind the center of lift is to the center of mass, the more the aircraft is going to want to pitch down in flight. And the closer it is, the more stable it is. However, if you get in front, what will end up happening is as soon as you take off, the aircraft is going to want to uh, flip over backwards. Now, the other thing you want to account for is the shifting center of mass. So as you burn fuel, as we lower this, you'll see our center of mass is going to go forward. So with this particular design, what will end up happening is, is as we burn fuel, the aircraft is going to want to pitch forward, or pitch down on us. So we'll have to compensate for that. Now next is to make sure that our center of thrust, this guy here, is always aimed through the center of mass. Right, this is one of the reasons why the space shuttles, a lot of people have a really hard time making them is because the uh, center of mass is offset, so you have to account for it. Plus, the center of mass shifting makes it a little bit more difficult, but we're not going to go into that in this video. So as you can see, this is a fairly ideal layout for an aircraft. So if we launch this here, you'll see that it's fairly easy to take off because the majority of the pitch is generated by our forward canards here. And as you can see, everything is turned off except for the pitch. And with this particular design, the pitch comes completely from the forward canards. And the reason I recommend forward canards for uh, early aircraft is because they will actually stall before the rest of the wing. So if we turn on by pressing F12, we can see our aerodynamic overlay. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down the engines. We're going to pitch up here. So these blue and yellow, right, they're representing the uh, lift of the aircraft. Blue from the main wings, yellow from control surfaces, and red, which you can barely see a, a pitch of here, is drag. So as we approach stall speed, you will see that the forward canards will stall first, causing the aircraft to pitch forward, but it'll prevent the main wings from stalling. If the mains wing, wing stall, it's easy to go into a flat spin, which is a little bit difficult to get out of. Remember Top Gun and Goose? Yep, that's how he bought the farm. So see that red there? You can see that they, st the four canards stalled out, dropping the nose, but they stall before the main wings, so we still have c control of the aircraft. And that's why I recommend that for, especially for beginning aircraft. Plus, come on, hey, it just looks cooler, right? And that's pretty much it in the um, 
for basic aircraft design. Later on we'll be doing another video and we'll get a little bit more into advanced uh, topics. You know, such as offset engines, you know, aiming through the center of mass, and then ultimately into SSTOs, or single stage to orbit aircraft. Well, thank you for joining me today. That's it for this coverage, and I hope to see you in my live stream if you have any questions.